Ah, what is so rare as an April morn, when several heavy coats you've worn to see the sprightly bluegrass colts, their riders each trying to take their best holts, while for Keeneland's special race they train, to combat snow and cold and rain and place themselves on the road to roses with battles of lengths and heads and noses. But wait, that scene, as we said, is rare. For spring in Kentucky is more often fair. Dogwood blossoms and co-ed skin put songs in the hearts of gentlemen. Ladies, adorned in springtime hues, betting windows with impatient cues, glistening flanks of three-year-old stars, Woodford and Makers at all the bars. Those mark the soul of Lexington days. That is how the springtime plays, as we look fore and aft, with double takes, at the traditions of the bluegrass stakes. The derby nears, and the tension grows. Opinions abound, though no one knows who'll get to deliver the winner's spiel and toast the Toyota automobile. Back, back in time goes the bluegrass lore. 23 derby winners, and there'll be more, have gone to the post in this Keeneland prep to hone their sinews and sprightly step. Seven decades back, we mark this year, when young Bull Lee bid made it clear that from down the pike came a call to arms, and so launched the era of Calumet Farms. And Bimlick, of Colonel Bradley's team, gave rise to many a derby dream, though the Wars of the Roses, we'd soon learn, brought not the wind for which we'd yearn. More heroes from the 1940s came to town to make their sorties toward the bluegrass finish line, with juleps to drink, and Burgoo to dine. Calumet victories would not be few, with Ocean Wave, Faultless, and Coal Town, too, and Shutout came home with a margin not narrow, abetted by jockey Eddie R. Carroll. The 50s brought us a champion most able. We knew him well as Little Round Table, and victories came also to Swift Tommy Lee, Goyamo, and Mameluke, and then Toby B. The following decade saw its own revelation of bluegrass winners implied declaration that the derby was next and they'd have their way. The decade's first was named Shattergay. Any bluegrass winner deserved a close gander, even a long shot one like Dust Commander. And Lucky Debonair proved another derby prancer, as did Forward Pass and Northern Dancer. But fate can be fickle, remorseless, in vain, and there was that day in the cold and the rain, when despair came along in the gathering dark, for we witnessed the downfall of mighty Graustark. The seventies found their own links to glory of how the bluegrass fit a championship story. Reva Ridge came to win it, and win it he did, and the same was true of Spectacular Bid. And those who were there will ever recall when Calumet's owners held all in their thrall. To the rail did they travel in a courtesy car to witness the victory of divine Alidar. Into the 80s, the bluegrass did steer with double victories for Harvey Veneer, and sentiment too was far from abative when Herb Stevens won it with Rock Hill native. Chief's crown came to town all of a glow, as did young Taylor's special and Bachelor Beau, and some runners-up joined the Rose winner's role, like Alasheba and Gatto del Sol. The 90s began with a win for Pat Day, whose Mount Summer Squall would have his own way, and the Hancock family had separate glee, with wins by Pulpit and then Menifee. Pistols and Roses spoke up for a gray, as did Holy Bull, and then skip away, and Coach Rick Pitino won with Hallery Hunter, back when we cheered him. Could I have been blunter? Then the 1900s came to an end, and who should pop up but Millennium Wind, the victor who galloped in 2001. Then Peace Rules and Bandini each got it done. The century of boarding quickly saw a high yield, and Sinister Minister has upset a field, and the Derby connection again would commence with the promising prep 
of Jim Taffel's street sense. The clamor of years has told a long story, and soon a new team will join in the glory of jockeys and trainers and owners of yore and horses who gave, and when called on, gave more. The eras have visited, prevailed, and then fled. The urges for glory have been so well fed. Now, an annual conclave for fans of the horse beholds a new chapter to soon run its course. Yes, now we again are poised for the burst as the crowd is swept up in the thoroughbred's thirst. A thirst for speed that will vanquish all foes. Which one will win it? Well, no one yet knows. The track will be lovely. The stands will be tight. The owners of entrance may not sleep tonight, for each has a date with destiny's dice. The Toyota Bluegrass Trophy. Ah, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs>